Hi, today is Friday, September 18th. The primary focus of this BCSC update is to talk about food service. Just want to say a couple general things. Uh, certainly want to thank everyone, that includes our families, our students, teachers and staff for all the many things that uh, each and every one of you are doing. That includes the face coverings, the social distancing, the hand washing, all of those things have allowed for this to continue to be a very successful start of the school year. Um, we're well into September, as we sit here really at the middle of September, uh, and certainly made it a lot further uh, than anyone probably ever would have thought, including myself. Also want to thank folks uh, when I look at our fall sports and when I'm out and about, I, I couldn't be happier uh, with the things that I see. And again, it's all those things from the face coverings and uh, social distancing and quite frankly we don't always see that with other schools uh, whether we're on the road or they're coming to us but uh, our folks are doing an awesome job and, and certainly when we talk about fall sports giving those kids that opportunity to continue to play because that's certainly what we want to do and and, and want to continue with. want to single out a group of, of folks our school nurses uh, they've done a tremendous job and, and I can't even um, really fathom some of the workload uh, that these folks have had to take on, but specifically Heather Treadway at Tecumseh Harrison, Stephanie Stone at Franklin, Melissa Jones at Clark Middle School, uh, Lindsey Downey at Riley, uh, Lori Sanders at Lincoln High School, and then our Vigo School Nurse and also our Corporation Head Nurse, Sarah Schutz. Uh, these six ladies and covering the seven buildings that we have have gone above and beyond uh, and we thank them for the work that they are doing and as they work with Good Samaritan Hospital and, and the Knox County Health Department. So thank you to our school nurses. So, uh, shift gears and talk about the food service program. I know some other schools have already released some different things. Um, folks have to understand that anytime you're dealing with uh, federal funds that uh, there's different criteria um, I understand the BCSC is a little late to this where some others have already announced, but beginning October 1st, uh, the BCSC will be able to provide uh, free meals for our students um, K through 12. Now, there are some things that need to be specifically explained with this. Again, it begins October 1st. Uh, that includes free breakfast and also includes a free lunch. If students decide uh, that they want a la carte items that are above whatever is being provided for breakfast or that is the breakfast choice or the uh, lunch tray choice, if it's a la carte, those items um, will cost money. And if, you, if the student has money in their account, they can purchase things above and beyond or if they just don't want uh, the tray uh, lunch or breakfast for that given day. But that is completely free to our students. I want to thank Mike Zady and our entire Sodexo team for working uh, on this waiver. Uh, we know that this waiver will at least carry us through the end of the calendar year or until federal funds um, are depleted, but at least for the time being, VCSC students uh, will be able to take advantage. And there are no income requirements, eligibility requirements, anything of that nature. That is every VCSC student, K through 12, with breakfast and lunch. It does not include our pre-K students, and I want to speak to our pre-K program for just a second. I don't know that folks are always aware that the BCSC operates with a, a pre-kindergarten classroom. We operate at uh, Vigo Elementary and Lindy Valenzuela uh, takes care of that program. But as a part of our pre-K program, parents pay $100 a week for the entire uh, week, and that is a full day program. That's not a half day program or a morning afternoon. That is a full day program inside what parents pay uh, for that program includes um, the students lunch uh, and that's just a part of that program that, that we run but with the pre-k they are not eligible within this waiver so um, single out our pre-k for just a second um, talk real quickly about our virtual students uh, we will be uh, releasing some information later for our virtual students as we also will be providing meals to them. There are some things that we need to do uh, in the way of surveying and Mr. Salters will work with uh, Mr. Zadie to be sure that we've got that and then we'll release uh, information specifically to our virtual students but I think you can anticipate that if we have virtual students that want to 
partake in meal service that it will look very similar to what uh, this past summer did, but we're also working through those things. It's a great opportunity for our students. We're thrilled that we can pass this opportunity along to our students. And again, I wanna thank Mike Zadie and the entire Sodexo team uh, for helping the BCFC work through this. Thanks, hope you have a great weekend. Go Alice's.